couple of videos for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of companies that hire you on as an employee versus being an independent contractor. Oftentimes, I get people who ask the question, what's the difference between being an, an independent contractor and being an employee? Being an employee basically means that the person that you're working for or the people that you're working for actually deducts taxes from your paycheck. They actually send you a W-2 form at the end of the year so you can file your taxes. Being an independent contractor means basically you're working for the company and whatever you make, that's what you get. So you have to basically save your own money to pay your own taxes at the end of the year because you'll have to file a 1099 for being an independent contractor. A lot of people like being employees versus independent contractors because they don't want to have to deal with, you know, actually filing, you know, paying their own taxes at the end of the year. They'd rather the employer go ahead and remove the taxes from their paycheck to eliminate that, you know, burden from them having to do that, that do that at the end of the year. The companies that I'm going to be sharing with you are customer service positions that pay anywhere between eight and $15 per hour, depending on your experience. Most of these companies or pretty much all of these companies, you will need internet access and you will need a land aligned phone for you to be able to answer phone calls um, for the customer. The first company is going to be Apple. I'm pretty sure you guys know who Apple is. Apple basically hires people to um, basically be a point of contact for their customers who have questions as it regards to um, their products, their services, you know, questions, concerns, and things like that, basically. And they even do tech support. Apple also has several work at home chat positions. Apple hires pretty often. Now it is a little bit harder to get into the company, um, but they are always hiring. So if Apple sounds like somebody that you're interested in working in, I would definitely say go ahead and apply. If it takes you multiple tries, it takes you multiple tries. Sometimes that's what it takes to land one of these jobs. Sometimes you have to apply to the same company more than once to get your application noticed because you have so many people that are applying to these positions. But Apple is the first company that I wanted to share with you guys. Maritz Research is another company that hires you on as an employee. Maritz Research does research for these big corporate companies. You have uh, car dealerships, you have you know, um, retailers, a bunch of different companies uh, basically go through Maritz Research to basically contact their customers to see what their customer experience was like. I'll leave that link down in the description box. I'm not a thousand percent sure whether or not Maritz is currently hiring, but when they do hire, they do hire you on as an employee. West at Home is the next one. I think they changed their name to Alorica now. I think it's Alorica. I may be mispronouncing that, but they hire you, um, hire people as customer service representatives to talk to different clients. I think they have different uh, clients that they work for. I don't really know what the different clients are. I mean, pl things like Comcast, AT&T, different clients. I'm, I'm, I may be off a little bit as far as the clients that West at Home um, contracts through their their services. However, I know that they have different clients that they actually, you know, have that contract through them. So West at Home is another company that hires you on as an employee. Enterprise Rental Car is the next one. I'm pretty sure you guys know what Enterprise Rental Car is. Enterprise Rental Car um, hires customer service representatives to talk to their customers if they have questions or concerns as it regards as, as it pertains to their uh, reservations. They also hire reservation um, agents that actually j just basically take reservations all day. And they also hire customer service representatives who talk to the customer Customers, if they have a problem with a reservation or if they have a concern or a complaint or something like that, they also have the customer service representatives to, that, to do that. But they do have reservation agents who basically just do reservations all day. Convergence is another company that hires customer service representatives. You also have Amazon. They also hire customer service representatives. I'm pretty sure most of you know what Amazon is. Amazon hires customer service representatives to uh, talk to their customers about their product services and people who have questions about their orders and things like that. Most times Amazon hires work at home representatives is seasonally. So um, I'm not a thousand percent sure whether or not they hire work at home uh, representatives year round, but I do know that they hire often seasonally. Most times it's around uh, Christmas time or anywhere around like Mother's Day and things like that. Um, as, as a matter of fact, I think Amazon was hiring a couple of weeks ago. I'll see if I can find a link if they're currently hiring and put that down in the description box as well. But they do hire you on as an employee. Sykes is another company that hires customer service representatives. I think Sykes also does technical support and things like that as well. You have American Support. They do customer service related uh, work for a bunch of different companies. All of that information is on their website 
website. I'll make sure I put their link down in the description box. You have American Airlines. You guys know what American Airlines is. You have HSN. Yes, a lot of people did not know that, but HSN, QBC, a lot of these companies, they do hire customer service representatives to work from home. A lot of times when you call in, just say you're ordering something off of QBC or HSN, a lot of times when you're calling, don't tell anybody. A lot of times when you're calling into those companies, the people that are answering the phone, a lot of them are in the comfort of their own home accepting your phone calls. Now, they do have actual call centers. However, they do have a lot of those customer service uh, representatives who are working from the comfort of their home, and they do hire you on as an employee. I'll put their link down in the description box as well. Teletech is another customer service related company that hires customer service representatives to work from home. And last but not least is Transcom, and they hire for all different types of positions. They have customer service, they have collections, they have sales, they have customer retention, they have technical support, they have a lot of different positions um, at Transcom. And again, all of these companies that I just told you about are 100% legitimate. But as I always say, regardless of who is sharing a work at home job with you, I don't care who the person is, always do a little bit of research for yourself. I myself, I do this stuff out of the kindness of my heart. I try my best to ensure that every opportunity that I share with you guys is 100% legitimate. Sometimes because I am human, some something may slip through the cracks. And if it does, please be sure to um, send me a private message, whether it be on my uh, work at home Facebook page or whether it be here on YouTube. And I will definitely look into that for you guys. But again, I try my best to only share legitimate work at home jobs on my channel, on my website, as well as on my Facebook page. But if something slips slip through the crack, I promise it is something that um, I just probably overlooked or I didn't research thoroughly. But I always encourage you guys to do your own research. If you're, you know, skeptical about something or if you're curious, curious about something, um, Google is a great, great reference. You can always just say, for instance, Transcom, for instance. If you're skeptical about Transcom, you can always go on Google and just simply try type in Transcom reviews or Teletech reviews or Amazon work at home reviews or Converges work at home reviews. Any of these companies, you can go to Google and type in whatever the company's name is and review and all of the reviews from people who, who currently work for them, as well as people who have worked for them in the past, or people who probably have applied to the company will probably have a review or something on Google. Also, I always reference you guys to workplacelikehome.com. Those people do not know who I am, trust me. I always like to reference people there because that is what I use to land my very first work at home job. And it is a great source for people who are looking to um, work, from home, work from home or people who currently work from home. And they just wanna have a, a place where they can go and they can interact with other people who work from home and they can, you know, get some leads as well as make make friends who also uh, work from home themselves. So I will leave everything down in the description box. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for updates. Also, make sure that you like my Facebook page. All of this stuff is free 99. I always like to tell you guys that. Share this video because sharing is caring and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.